Hey, I'm KIC, and it is the early morning, well, reasonably early morning of day 20. That means we still have ourselves a little bit of time here before the next horde rolls in. Well, I mean, could get a wandering horde, but you know what I mean, right? The next scripted horde. As such, actually has nothing to do with that, but I just like to say as such. It, it just sounds so, you know, I don't know, um, fancy or something, I guess. I, I don't know. I got nothing. Whatever. I'm going to drop some frames down, and you'll understand why in just a moment, I, I suspect. It's primarily because I cannot right-click in a straight line, or probably can't when I have no clue what in the heck I'm doing. Why are you not... Why is Why is this so difficult? This should not be as difficult as this is. That's fine. Okay, good. We're we're going just fine here. We are going to be doing a little gardening today, and that's a good thing because we've already started on it. Because if we are going to be doing it and this doesn't count, then I'm doing something wrong. Now, before I do anything crazy here, I'm going to take a moment to get rid of that because you don't belong. And we're going to look at spending some points, I, I think. I don't remember how many points we have to spend. Is my bed still there? It still is. Good. I have closed the game and restarted it since the last time we've played. Which was probably a couple days ago. Where are you? You're under... I bet you're under that one. Yeah, that one right there, I think, if I'm right. Specialize in harvesting more crops using your hands or tool. So right now we have a level two of living off the land, which gives us two items from, well, a seed. So not bad. I mean, it's kind of like OG original stuff, uh, alpha 16. Three is going to require level five. Four is going to require level seven. And five is going to require level 10. Now, I just noticed something here. Harvest four items from planted crops. That right there sounds excellent. But what is this you can craft mutated seeds thing? What is that about? So, I guess first thing we got to do is we got to get, let's see, level 5, level... Oh my gosh, level 7. Okay, hold on. Um, sure. Let's just keep clicking until we don't click anymore. And you know what? Never mind. Let's just stop right there. You are thirsty. Drink water to increase your fluid intake or something. I don't know. Whatever words. Okay, I want to know now. What in the world is this seed stuff? Because I have some ears of corn right here. I can make corn seeds which I assume that's what I'm going to do. Cornmeal, corn on the cob, hobo stew, meat stew, sham chowder, vegetable stew. Okay. And those don't have any recipes to them, so I guess... Well, here, let me do seed. What in the world do I get if I do seed? Mushroom spores, potato, yucca, golden rod, soup... What the heck is super corn? Four ear... What is that? Hold on, is there like... Is there more here? What about like potatoes? Are there like potato, super potatoes? What is a super corn? What is an ear of super corn? And how do I get that? I want super corn. Okay, so this begs the next question. Corn. Let's not use that. Let's use super instead. This is exciting stuff right here. Super corn seed. That's the only thing that is listed for that. Really? Well, I don't know what that is, and I want that. Because super corn sounds super awesome. That is super awesome. Well, we're just going to plant what we have. So here we go. Let's drop some corn seeds. Eins, zwei, drei und vier. And I grabbed some other stuff too, just because I thought it might not be a bad idea. So we've got uh, two coffee seeds. I'll go ahead and plant those guys right there. Two coffee seeds. And we do have some beans. Beans, beans, the magical beans that you turn into seeds. We can make... Um, I guess we'll just do two more of those for right now, because I don't I don't know that we really need a ton of coffee. I have completely ignored it to this point. Which is funny because it would do wonders for certain instances like being cold. Minor details, I know. We're gonna pop an aloe. I mean I guess we can do one down here. Is this am I actually going to get four aloe from this? Cause that would be awesome if so, because that's a bandage right there, which I used to start this episode off because we were still pretty hurt from the last go around, if I remember right. And I have some chrysanthemum seeds. I guess we can do this. We'll go, uh, let's see, what do we have here? One, two, three, five spots. So we'll do one, two, three. Did I grab the chrysanthemums out of the box? I sure didn't. Man, what kind of two bit operation is this, cat? You didn't remind me. You know I'm forgetful. 
Maybe I did grab him? I did grab him. I'm blind. That's the problem. Got it. Cat, you did remind me. I'm sorry. I apologize. You did your job. You're fine. Okay, good. So that means that I need to make some seeds out of this. Uh, I guess we'll just do... Um, we'll do one for now. I don't think we need to go crazy on the chrysanthemum seeds because I'd like to make a little more tea anyway. I mean, as it is, you know, there, there are plenty of chrysanthemums around. I mean, you can see several out there somewhere. So I'm going to say we are done with our farming bit for today. <laughs> Look at that. There are three chrysanthemums right here. I wasn't joking when I said you can see them out there. I think that's pretty good. I'm going to leave the boxes right here, the frames here, just because I like to have things in nice, tidy rows, and the frames help me to make them in nice, tidy rows. Otherwise, it's just going to go to heck, and it's really bad, and, you know, I, I, I can't see what I'm doing. I'm going to pop all this stuff back in the box. You probably don't belong in there, come to think of it. You probably go in another one. Do we have anything else that goes in there? I kind of want to put the garden hose in there, just because I think that would kind of make sense those in that box. Everything else is looking pretty good so far. I mean, I guess we can pop that guy down there. We need to drink some water. Still, the game is complaining to me about that. I did not mean to recipe that. I meant to use it. So I'll just go ahead and drink one of those and uh, we'll do one more. That way we stay nice and hydrated. It's important to be hydrated. Drink plenty of water throughout your day. Not soda, not coffee, not beer, not whatever other things. But water, you can have those other things too occasionally, of course, but primarily you want your hydration to come from agua. I suppose the question for today is, what do we do? I mean, we got a bunch of building materials that we can go pop down over there, but honestly, I'm kind of feeling the, the call of the road, and I want to maybe go out this way to see what's over there, or maybe, maybe even head out this way. I don't even know. I mean, I'm a little concerned from the last one, like, finding the rad zone out here. I don't know what the deal is with that. Was that the last one, or was that, like, two ago? I don't even remember. I'm not sure. Does it matter either way? I don't think it matters either way. Tell you what, I'm gonna drop the bike. I'll meet you wherever it is that I decide we're gonna go, because I can't even put this thing on the ground. This is... This is annoying. This is awesome. It's my favorite. La -dee -da. Oh, there it goes. Perfect. Meet you there. You know, I wasn't really planning on this, and then I saw that we are so close to this on the map that, uh, you know, why not? Although, it is stupidly hot out here. What is going on? Can I... Can I cool down in some way, shape, or form? Would that... Would that help any? Uh, I guess technically it does help a tiny bit, but not much. We are right here at where one of the hidden caches is, so... Apparently, I'm going to be dumb, or whatever, I don't know, something. I'm going to dig this dumb thing up. I'm right on top of it. Sort of. Somewhere. Right here. Well, I'm going to start digging, and I'll come back in a second. Aha, there it is. Look at that. Perfect. I'll just go ahead and dig this out a little bit. I was kind of thinking it might be nice to, you know, get a little uh, in the shadows. That way, theoretically, I could cool down for a second. Holy cow, man. White River Supplies. Here we go. So this is indeed a trader one. I didn't realize this was a trader one. I just kind of ran with it and thought, eh, whatever. I see it on the map. That actually makes me feel a little better about it, that it's a trader one, because then... Theoretically, we can get more out of it than just that. Hi, buddy. How you doing? One thing I noticed earlier, by the way, while I was digging, is that once you light a zombie on fire, and I'm sure this has always been the case, I just never paid attention to it, but a zombie that is en fuego does not warm you up. Which I suppose is a good thing, but just, you know, observation. Random observation. So, if I remember right, this is the land of a thousand towers out here. And there are certainly many interesting tower type things that we could probably check out. I'm going to switch to keyboard driving here so I can mouse look while I'm doing this stuff. Because I think that would be helpful in this instance as I'm looking for specific things. 
think we've already been in that one. If not, we have been in that particular building. And you know what? Maybe what we should do is just keep on going down the road here because, one, this is not the stupidly hot desert anymore, which is nice and works well for me because I don't really have good warm weather clothing at this point. Uh, there's there's still some room for improvement on, on that front. But also just because, you know, we haven't really filled in this part of the map. It looks like it's mostly going to be residential, which that's kind of a bummer if so. What is going on over there? That... That looks pretty interesting. Let's go check that out. I mean, I don't have a rhyme or reason to this in case it's not obvious by now. I really don't. I'm just like, you know, this looks interesting. Let's go check it out. And this does indeed look interesting. So, check it out we shall. Look at that. We'll just hop right on in. This would be the typical entrance, I'm sure. I'm going to just hop back here. I don't think I got hit there, but I feel like I was pretty close to it. I saw at least four zombies in there, just at a glance. Maybe there are a few more. Yeah, some of them are stuck behind there, so they'll be a little while. Hi, ma'am. How you doing? Getting some pretty good use out of this bow, too, which is pretty, pretty fly these days. Pretty fly for a bow. I don't know, is that a thing? Is fly still what the kids say? Is that what the kids the kids use? They, they say things are fly? Yeah, that might date me a little. I don't know. Maybe not. Something. Words. I don't know. I never used that one, I don't think. But, whatever. We'll just keep shooting old Hawaiian Bob over here in the gut till he decides to give it up. As a matter of fact, you know what? You know, let's do this. Let's just go ahead and light these dudes up. That way they can get a little dot damage going. There we go. Theoretically, they'll all just go ahead and burn up and problem solved. Okay, good. Perfect. Let's get around over there before... Oh, I thought there was a loot box. It was just a flashlight. Well, that's a bummer. Fuse box, you don't work. There's nothing in here worth checking out. Okay, I'm just making sure. Should probably put the pickaxe down there again, so we'll do that. We'll get the pickaxe ready to go. We might be wanting that. You never know. Fuse box, you are not working. Hey, look at that. Some more building supplies. They're my favorite. Probably should think about making a better shovel at some point, too. I mean, it's not going to make a big difference right now. Durability is not going to be a problem for a little while. I'm not really doing much digging aside from the crap ton of digging I just did. But being able to add some additional mods in there might be a nice thing. We can get a little higher damage shovel so that we can dig a little more quickly and efficiently. That would be nice. I'm always for efficiency upgrades. I should probably take that lead. I'm not going to. Let's go hop on down into the into the house. Have we seen this one before? I feel like maybe we've seen this one before. I'm just listening for a moment. Oh! Exploding headshot. I don't know where they're going, man. They're just... They're going, though. They are going. There's a whole football team in here. And a construction worker. This is weird. Let's go ahead and take you out. And that was not a headshot. I was hoping it was. Oh, hi. How you guys doing? Hi. How you doing? Oh, you're feral. Oh. I probably shouldn't do this because I'm going to take that shot, but that shot's better than taking that shot. You know what I mean? I'm probably better than taking that one, too. Hey, guys. I am having really difficult times here with the headshots. Let's just go ahead and... Ah, uh, clickety-clickety. All right, well... Let's go ahead and just carve up a zombie here. How you guys doing? Nice to meet you. Little uh, Spider Bob there, or Spider Bill, or whatever you guys are. I don't remember what they're named. Clearly, I'm not that concerned about it either. We'll just go ahead and heal up. I should probably... Put a bandage down there, now that I think about it. There we go. We'll just go ahead and do that. We'll be fine. I might even spend another point today on the the passive healing, which is kind of one of my least favorite things in gaming. And yet, I mean, if you can't beat them, join them, I guess. I don't know. I think we're pretty much good. I'm going to run back and check this out before this loot goes away. Nothing really interesting. We'll take it, though. There's a purse. I see it. I cannot target it. There we go. 
There we go. Thank you. Grab the monies. All the monies. I probably should be checking closer to see if there is indeed something up. Whatever. It's fine. I'm not going to check that shelf. I'm not going to sweat it. I'm not going to worry about it, okay? I'm just not going to do it. Uh, that I don't think we care about. So here, we'll just go ahead and check behind all these guys, because, you know, there's typically one or two hidden things in each house, it seems, behind all these lovely, lovely paintings, photos, etc. Of all the backers. It's cool. It's good stuff. I like them. I wish there were more. That would be my only real um, feedback at this point, is I like them so much, I wish there were some more. And I've kind of seen... Ah, this is... This is annoying. There we go. Just stop trying to be smooth and tricky about it and just put down the block. Some days I am so stubborn. It annoys even me. But yeah, I just, I would like to see, you know what, I'm going to take that. I'd like to see a few more of them. I just, you know, even if it's not the backers or something else, I just think it'd be cool. Blueberries is something I was hoping that we had, and instead we have snowberries, so yes. Let's take that seed. I just like that it adds a little bit of personality. I mean, it'd be great. You know what? I don't know that they could do it legally, but a great idea is to use uh, this is not a real person and turn those into a bunch of photos on the walls. And you could just do like, I don't know, a thousand of them or something. Stylize them all up so they all match kind of, you know, whatever motif you want in the game in terms of uh, filters and that sort of stuff. And then boom, you would probably not have that many repeats, whereas right now it's the same handful of, of people in every house. Which again, it's cool, don't get me wrong. I'm going to be obnoxious about it. But just for sake of immersion, it... it you lose a little something when it's the same dudes over and over and over. Hi, how you doing, ma'am? There you go. Give you a nice cut and a little chop there. I don't know why the power swing is that. That seems kind of silly to me. Like, that's more of a power swing to me. I mean, I don't know. I don't know about you, but forehand, backhand, come on. Anyway, whatever. Minor complaint. Minor observations. Is there anything in here? Let's check behind this. Sure is. How about that? We'll take some paint. Why not? Ah! You scared the crap out of me, madam. Thank you for that. I. That's the first time I have had a jump scare out of this game in a long time. I just... I didn't hear her at all. What can I say? I guess I need to turn up my headphones. Madam. I am not happy with you. Oh, hi. You have a friend. I didn't realize that. Hi. How you doing? Nice. Now, I'd like to use the machete a little bit. Yeah, we've definitely been in one of these before. I, I recall this. I mean, it... It rang a bell earlier, but this just confirms that, yeah, I've seen this particular POI. But it's a good one, so I'm happy to go through it again. It's going pretty quickly, too, so, you know, it's all good. Okay, so far so good. I see a flashlight over there. Let me check back here. Vending machine. I mean, technically, we do have some money on hand. Ten potatoes. Don't mind if I do. I will buy all your potatoes and then some blueberry pie, snowberry extract. I don't think I want any of the rest of the stuff, although it might not be a bad idea to buy all the cat food. Because the cat food and the dog food, if I recall, you can now use these since we have some crazy stuff here. Grandpa's learning elixir. I don't know if cat food goes into anything, but if nothing else... This one might want it, but it doesn't look like her brand, so I might have to veto that. Yeah, I'm that guy. Sure, we'll take those guys. Let's bust out the old Axe-a-Rooney. 
And we'll just let ourselves in here. There should be some more friendlies in here, if I recall correctly. And like I said, I'm, I'm kind of looking forward to doing some chop-chop action. Or some backhand chop action. So, hi guys, how you doing? I think this one has the uh, the rad re the rad killer thingy on it. All right, I am running out of stamina here, so I'm going to switch weapons, and that should buy me a couple of seconds here. Hi guys, how you doing, madam? A little busy, if you don't mind, sir. I'm down to one more shell. I'm just going to go ahead and reload this now. Probably should have waited a second on that. That's all right. Not too concerned about this. Get rid of our nice irradiated friends. But yeah, if I remember right, this thing should have the rad thing on it, right? E no, it does not. Really? You're only on this guy? Oh boy, maybe that's what I need to do. I need to take that out and put the rad thingy-majigger on it. See if we have an extra one, because, well, whatever we're going to end up using. I'm not entirely convinced I want to keep the machete. I'm not super pleased with it. I don't know, I kind of like the, the club a little more, I think, which is weird to me, because the machete has long been my favorite melee weapon in the game, and now I'm like, I don't know, maybe it's not my favorite anymore. That makes me sad. How you doing? We could just put a ladder right up there and climb right on out of this place. We'll check what's in here first, though, of course. I'll wait and see if that, uh, something that is coming on is worth dealing with. If it is, I'm pretty sure we have some honey, although I'd really like to not use the honey if I could get away with it. Let's go ahead and switch out the wrench for that guy, because we have some things to destroy over here, some things to break down. Gonna break down this generator and see what it wants to give me. Break down! Alright, look at that. Not bad. I'll take ten forged irons any day. That's good stuff. I mean, sure, technically we have moved on to using steel, but, you know, that's still good stuff. It's certainly usable. I mean, that is, that is not a question at all. Not in my book, anyway. Lots of crossbow bolts today. What is up with that? I mean, we're going to break them down and get more metal out of them. That's pretty much the end game for those. Because at this point, I think I've decided on just sticking with the bow. I still like the bow. I'm not ready to, to get rid of my friend the bow. I don't remember if I was collecting chairs earlier. If I wasn't, well, I should have been. There we go. We'll go ahead and scrap those guys. Scrap some of this stuff while we have it up. Here, we'll just go ahead and scrap those. Scrampy doodles. I guess we got to keep the glass, right? Because we can use those for, for scopes, if I remember right. Is that what it was? It was for scopes? Guess we'll just hit the last of these guys, and we're pretty much done with this place. I mean, overall, for just kind of a little... Just stomping, checking out a little house, this is a pretty decent haul. What I want to know, though, is why is it that all of these houses have these crazy basements? Is everyone... Like, making a bunker or something? I mean, what's the deal with that? And then, like, I think this one I've checked before, and it doesn't have anything. And yet, I'll check again, because I don't remember. I don't know. It just seems kind of strange. Everyone thinks it's the end of the world, and they're building their big apocalyptic bum bunker thing. Easy for me to say. That's where that spits out. Okay, good to know. I mean, I guess, since the bike is right here... And this house looks like it could be kind of interesting. I don't know, have we been in this one again? Like, I don't know. Wow, that's painful right there. I shouldn't work like that, but that's all right. This one looks interesting. Have we been in this one? I don't know. I mean, this appears to be the way inside. Working your way down and then winding up sort of thing. So, I don't know, I mean, I'm just kind of like, maybe I don't want to go that way. Maybe I want to go my own way and completely destroy any sense of flow that this has. It's my prerogative. And I'm just going to fill these in because I can, and we have a lot of frames to spare. 
So there you go. Look at that. Everything is hunky-dory now. And maybe what we should do is uh, bust out yonder pickaxe. And I don't know. I guess we're going to just go long today. I don't know. Whatever. Oh, that's the front door. I really was not paying attention. Is it clear that I wasn't paying attention? We might need to run out anyway, so that's probably a good thing. Dishonorable Discharge Challenge. Kill some zombie soldiers. Oh man, if only we'd have found that like some time ago, that would have been excellent. I think what I learned with the last POI is that thanks to the game stage that we have right now, which is a result of killing, I don't know, several zombies and not having died yet, which I still don't quite understand. I'm not quite sure how that ended up working out, but I'm not going to argue it. What am I looking for? That one? What do we add? A thousand kills. Zero deaths. I'm going to chalk that one up to dumb luck right now, honestly. Okay? I mean, with Alpha 16, I knew how the game worked really well. I was used to it. It was not a big deal. With this one, I'm going to chalk it up to, to dumb luck. I mean, now granted, I've said this many times throughout the whole series. I died a crap ton when it was still in the experimental phase. I mean repeatedly. It was bad. Hi, ma'am. You didn't even notice me. That is kind of disappointing to me. I mean, I was just dying left and right. It was really, really pathetic. It was really informative, though. But really pathetic, so, you know. Whatever. I guess pathetic is being pretty harsh, because, you know, I might have died less than someone else, and now they're feeling like, wow, if he died a lot, I must be awful. No, that's not what I mean. I meant for what I was used to playing, for what I was used to experiencing, it just was a vast, like, just chasm of a difference. Like, huge. Oh, hi. I thought you might be in there, or there might be someone in there, but I just didn't see you. Turns out I didn't get over far enough. My bad. I started looking this way, I think was the problem. The toilet got my attention. I'm like, well, let me check that side. But yeah, 17 is definitely more challenging. It's definitely more difficult. It's definitely more demanding. It's also kind of a crapshoot whether you're going to get, oh, hi, sir, decent performance with it. But I mean, that's kind of the story of this game, isn't it? But it is pretty disappointing that it runs kind of like hot garbage. I mean, I can't tell you how many times I've been watching and I dropped down to 30 frames, which never happened before. I mean, my CPU is pretty old, I will grant you that, but there is not... Well, maybe there is, I don't know. I have top-of-the-line video card these days. 2080 Ti, yeah, I know. I spent the money, I'm that idiot too. And this game just runs like hot garbage. I really, really hope the devs are working on that. Because if they're not, they are... Well, they're going to disappoint a lot of people is, is what they're going to be doing. I read enough of the oh, people saying how bad it runs on their subreddit, so... I believe it when people say it runs terribly for them. Just go ahead and kill you. There you go. Let's get back to what we were doing in here. I think we're basically good with everything, but I thought I should check behind all these guys. Go ahead and take the gunpowder. Why not? This might be the last building we do before we head back, just because kind of getting to the point where I want to start thinking about the horde. I mean, maybe maybe we still got some time there. I don't think there are many changes that I want to make to the, the horde base. I mean, at this point, I'm really inclined to just see how far I can go with it. I mean, that's what I've been saying all along, and that is certainly my intention. I want to play with this stupid, ridiculous, dumb idea I have and see what happens. And I do have some changes I'd like to institute in it, but not a ton. Oh, hi. I totally missed a couple of those shots. I'm terrible with the shotgun now, which I'm not sure what happened or when that happened. I guess I'm just going to blame Alpha 17. I don't even know. 
I don't think we had a puffer coat, so that's kind of nice to grab one of those. Hi. Nope, wrong gun. It's not even a gun. I recognize that. There you go. Uh, here, we'll just go ahead and do that. I should be fine for right now. Not sure where that dude came from. Seemed like he came from upstairs. There's no reason to do this. I recognize this. And yet, stop me if you dare. Okay, yeah, there's nothing there. It's just a block. We are really close to another level, though. That'll be nice. Just need another handful of zombies, and that'll do the trick. I suppose part of the... Part of my success I can attribute to some of the changes I made with mods. I certainly made the game a little more friendly to play for solo players. I cannot argue that point, and that was 100% intentional, but... Getting a little more experience so that I level up a little faster, getting some more points to spend, that certainly does get me into a place where I can kind of have more... Uh, better skills, that sort of thing, perhaps before I otherwise would have, although, in part, I feel like it might have balanced out because the game stage ends up getting pretty high because of all of this stuff, so. I think it's alright. I don't know. Whatever. I'm not gonna sweat it. I've certainly had my share of close calls, so it's not like... It's not like this has been a cakewalk or any stretch of the imagination. Oh, that was the nitty bitty one. Well, here, let's do that one too then. What's that? Hold on, I want to go back. Nope, you are a pallet. Okay, just wanted to make sure. Oh, hi. Were you there before? You are dead. Okay, good. I know, I can hit reload instead, but... Again... I keep wanting to use this, because I just... I, I have liked the machete so much that I feel like I need to keep giving it a, a whirl. And yet, I'm consistently disappointed in it. I guess I just have to switch to the, the sledgehammer after all, which... I really don't want to do that, but... Man, I'm just not liking this thing anymore. Machete, I think you're getting retired after this... Well, after this trip this excursion. I'm going to get back to base, and I'm going to get rid of it, because I think I'm done with it. It's getting a little dark in here. Let me go ahead and switch headgear out. There we go. That way we can see a little better. I feel like it's... There we go. I was going to say... The angle is off. It didn't look right to me, because it wasn't right. Good. Sometimes you got to trust your gut on things. I suspect there's still some more zombies in here, so I'm trying to be... Somewhat methodical in how I approach this. I did say somewhat, not entirely. Let's just make sure we're good right there. Okay, getting close to where you come in at, so... I should be just about done with this place, if I'm not mistaken. Go ahead and check these guys out. I'm probably just going to head back to base once this one is done. And then I'll kind of figure out how I want to spend day 21, since we're, we're right on on top of day 21 here. I mean, we are right there. Yeah, this is this is the starting room, so we're basically done with this place. At this point, we can go ahead and remove at least that block right there. I'm going to grab the wrench. I guess we'll use... Uh, let's use that one. I think this is the one we brought, and the other one is the one we found. If not, whatever. Either way, it's fine. Level 78. You know what? I'm going to take a moment right now. I kind of talked about maybe doing this one. Let's go ahead and do that. We'll do uh, healing factor. One hit points every 10 seconds with natural healing. One max health every 40 seconds. Cool. You know what? I'm going to be an idiot. I'm going to do it. I don't care. One hit point every six seconds. I mean, at that point, I'm really just... Uh, you know, whatever. It's fine. It's fine. I'm not going to overthink it. The game allows me to do it. I'm not going to get punished for it. I'm not cheating in any way, shape, or form. I'm just using the game's own stuff. You are obnoxious, so let's get rid of you so we can properly build on top of you. I'm sure that was intentional, by the way. So you can't do that. I have no doubt of that. Hey, look at that. Another aloe vera seed. That's pretty cool. I'll take that. 
think on that note, I'm gonna get out of here. I'm gonna pull out the shotgun just in case I need it. I mean, I can't expect I'll... can't imagine I'll need it between now and, well, now. But whatever. I'm gonna head back to base. I'm gonna just probably cut through a little bit. Maybe not too much, because... Well, I guess there's really not much to cut through. Oh, I'm still on keyboard driving, aren't I? I've gotten so used to... Ugh, I even hate to say it. I've gotten used to mouse driving, but whatever. This is fine. I'm going to head back to base. I will catch you on that one as we start day 21, because it's going to take a couple hours to get back to base. And we will figure out what things look like for the uh, horde that will be coming next week. I'm excited. I hope you are, too. I'm looking forward to it. Cat, are you excited? She's so excited that she's taking a bath, and I'm not paying attention, so I'm driving in a rocks. Whatever. I will get out of here, because I need to go. So I'll catch you on another one. Tell them thanks for watching. See you later.